this is your singles reading for February 2018. So, when I was actually laying out your cards, you have one card that fell out. And I want to talk about that for a second. You had the Six of Cups fall out. Now, you're either thinking of memories of someone or you're reuniting with someone this month, okay? And I feel like it's important to say that this reading will be pertaining to that person or those memories of that particular person. Um, almost like what will happen if we were to get together, what's going to happen, you know, with us or whatever. But it, it has something to do with this reunion or uh, the feelings of that reunion coming together. Okay, so I'm going to go into your Oracle card from the Romance Angels deck. And then, of course, uh, well, you don't know that, but I'm going to end uh, with an Oracle card from another deck for guidance for you. And then we'll talk about what we'll discuss in the extended reading, okay? Okay, Pisces, you have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Of course there is. That's why you have this Six of Cups that fell out of the deck, okay? Which means that you have memories with this person. You have some sort of bond with them that that feels almost childish, but in a happy way. You know, like happy childhood memories bond with someone, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on. <clears throat> in the overall energy, you have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? You could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You also could be doing, dealing with another water sign I'm hearing, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now, the thing with this person is I feel like you're going steady, okay? I don't feel like you're pushing anything because I feel like you want something that is sturdy or something that is going to last, okay? If you come together, you want it to come together, okay? This could be someone actually, uh, actually also offering you something that is stable, okay? But I feel like in the past, this person... Ooh. This person may be actually attempting to offer you everything. Because you said you wouldn't settle for less and they're attempting to offer you everything. But it's like, can this person fulfill that to me? Okay. All right. So in the past, you have the Ace of Swords. I just realized I had pizza all over my shirt, guys. Because apparently I'm five years old and I can't eat. Okay. So, uh, the Ace of Swords in the past. So, this talks about clarity. This also talks about conversation. Okay. Um, I'm hearing, like, breaking from silence. So, there may be a time where you were with yourself or they were with yourselves. Um, for balance purposes. Like, trying to find yourself. Trying to find moderation. I'm going to pull cards later, but trying to find clarity within yourself okay so in your present or you know like in february the beginning of february you have the ten of wands and as your opposing energy or the influence to you you have the six of swords so it's been a burden to you to find truth to figure out what you want to do or what you need um you could also have a lot of things going on in your own life as it is, but I feel like this situation is an added weight to that, okay? But it is a 10, so that means that you're almost at the end. You're almost at the end. You just have to make your decision, whatever your decision may be. But I feel like you have to be secure with the decision that you choose to make. So as your opposition, you have the Six of Swords, and this is you trying to move on with that um, idea. So if you notice, um, I feel like... The one extra sword, truth. Truth to me reminds me of the seven of swords, okay? And this is the six. So one sword is missing, which is this sword from the past, right? Which is that sword of truth. So now you're down to six swords and you're trying to move forward in that truth. And this is your influence, okay? Being able to express or say how you feel in order to move on, okay? Um, but it's really hard for you to do. 
It's really hard for you to do. Okay. So the recent influence, you have the Queen of Swords. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Of course, you know, because it is a court card. But I feel like you know that it's time to, to break through confusion, okay? If you're going to make the walk, you need to take the walk. And that's, that's what you're trying to figure out in February. It's like, I don't want to leave this up in the air. I don't want to have a shoulda, coulda, woulda situation. I either want to do this or not do this. You're not going to be stuck in that energy. I feel like at the beginning of February, you're trying to figure that out. But you're not going to continue to go through February in that energy. So your negative influence, you have the Page of Pentacles. And this is because whoever you're dealing with, which is, I'm getting strong earth sign vibes, okay? They want to manifest something with you. And what they're doing is trying to learn what you need so they can give that to you. They want to give that to you. And the thing is, they are attempting to manifest to the best of their abilities to get you to understand. And it's not that you don't understand. It's just that you want to make the right decision. You want to have a clear decision. Because whatever decision you choose, that's the one that you're going to nurture. That's the one that you're going to stay with. So in your hopes, you have the Hierophant. And you're hoping for a relationship, a real relationship. You're hoping that you can rebuild this relationship. That's why I feel like it was something from the past, okay? You're hoping that you can rebuild this relationship or make something strong. You don't want to bow down and just give up. You want to make the choice. You want to make the choice to have faith and all the abilities, you know, all the Everything that comes with it. Like, if you decide to change your denomination or whatever and become a Catholic, you want to believe in all of the doctrines. You want to believe in everything that they offer. And that's how you feel about love right now. You want to believe that they really want a relationship. You want to believe that they are trying to manifest something that is really strong and really real. Okay, so in your environment, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and this could be the need to work on something, okay? Um, I feel like things are pointing for you to work on your relationship. Things are pointing towards this, but you still have to make the choice to do so. Also, I feel like you have other things that you're working on, whether that be work, job, or a situation with home, anything like that. Something that you have promised yourself to, that is also a factor in your life, okay? Because it's it's for your own good in the future, and you're working on that, okay? So I'm going to clarify a couple cards, and then we'll get to the 1st and the 15th, the 15th to the 30th, and your outcome, Okay. So let's see, Spirit, why is this Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords. Spirit, why is this Ten of Wands? Only one card came out for Page of Pentacles. Okay. So 
for the Ace of Swords, you have the Devil in Reverse, the Page of Wands in Reverse, and the Four of Swords in Reverse, okay? Actually, no, not all the cards came up in Reverse, I was about to say, but... I feel like there was a moment or almost a glimpse into what it would be like if you let go of what you're holding on to, of that Ten of Wands. And you didn't see anything that was of interest to you. Or you didn't see, it's very interesting because it feels like you want to be around this person because they're giving you something, but you're not giving anything back. Like you're not, I feel like you're not having sex with this person. You know, like you're, you're taking more of the, the feeling that, or the energy that they're giving you. Okay. Okay. If you did have sex with this person, you came out of hiding or rest just to do that. And it didn't mean anything. But I feel like coming out of this rest kind of gave you an epiphany that you want to be around this person. And you want to try to balance things out. That's in the past. So on your Ten of Wands, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit in Reverse. The Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? So I feel like you've been building yourself. You're doing things the way that you want to do them, okay? You're focusing on yourself, especially with that, that Eight of Pentacles that you had in your environment, okay? And you're withdrawing from yourself because there are contracts and things that you have already made for yourself. And you're not going to let your emotions or your passions take over you so you can't focus on these things in your environment you're not going to allow that to happen which is why you have that ten of wands and it feels like a burden because it feels like this is all that's on your mind and you're trying to move forward you know like the best way to express yourself or the best way to say what needs to be said yep the queen of swords so say whatever needs to be said do whatever needs to be done, which is interesting because in the in the recent future, you do have the Queen of Swords, which means that you're able to confront your feelings or something of your feelings. You also had the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups fall out, okay? So it's like that, that foundation that you were ending, trying to build or, um, you know, like the celebration of them coming back. It's like you're finally opening yourself up enough to to enjoy that they're back in your life, okay? Just a little. I don't feel like it's nothing big. Just a little, see? I don't feel like you're giving any, you're not giving any full emotion back, but you're there, okay, is what I'm saying. So you have the Emperor in Reverse and the Page of Swords that wanted to fly out just then, okay? So, yeah, like I said, you, you're overly controlling your emotions. You're overly controlling the things that you're letting go, um, the conversation that you're giving, the, the hints that you may be giving off. You don't want to give off too strong of a hint, so you're definitely paying attention to what it is that you're doing, okay? On your page of pentacles, you have the Knight of Cups, and that's them. They are really trying to throw on the, the jazz on you, okay, for sure. Um, they are... They are trying to be perfect and that's what's making it really hard for you because you are a water sign and you love love okay so in your environment you have the five of cups the ten of swords in reverse the nine of wands in reverse and the three of wands in reverse So you do make you do want to make a difference, okay? But you have things that you need to get done. I feel like you want to put your walls down, um, and you would like to move forward, but 
it's just too much for you to handle right now because you have all this stuff going on in your environment. And right now, it's like you don't have the time. You don't have the time and you don't have the faith that it'll work out right now. I feel like you're just kind of letting it do what it does <laughs> to see what happens. So we'll go into the rest of your month. So you have the 1st and the 15th, the Two of Pentacles. And this is you trying to balance the idea of having something passionate. You may also try to have something like a uh, on again, off again, friends with benefits type of thing um, because you're so busy. But I'm hearing that it doesn't work out, okay, because your emotions are um, a little too deep right now, okay. And plus, this person is being perfect and trying to throw the love on you, okay. Yeah, you're going to be focusing more on yourself, most definitely, your finances, things like that, okay. You will be a little bit sad or every time you, that's why I said this, it feels almost like a, um, with these cards, it feels really like a friends with benefits type of thing okay um uh, like you just go back to it when when you feel a little sad but you are staying with yourself you know but i don't feel like it's gonna work out as well as you hope that it will so be careful about that yeah because it's gonna be like they're either gonna feel like you're investing time in the future okay or you're going to start to feel like you might be investing time in the future, okay? And then you're going to get out of your head and realize that that's not working. And um, I feel like you're going to make a decision to step out of that. I'm going to pull one more card, but I feel like that's just not going to be, yeah, okay? You're going to notice that you're going to get a little bit codependent on this. I feel like on this Knight of Cups energy that they're bringing into you, and you're going to um, cut that off, okay? So for the 15th and the 31st, you have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords talks about uh, on again, off again. It talks about um, failure. Like you're fighting to make something happen and there is failure. You have the Three of Cups. They may also try to find happiness in a different place, okay? Uh, why? Because they don't feel like they're getting... Um, the justice okay you may feel like this is an injustice too but you have to think you can't wait you can't ask somebody to just hold on okay because they may feel as though they're being defeated and in turn you're feeling like you're getting defeated at every turn i think both of you need to look at it at a different angle and you're i'm gonna show you here you have the tower and the magician in reverse okay so this talks about everything needed to be knocked down for you and them okay because you're not using your power to the best of your abilities okay so that's why all this is coming around to like shock you to get you to actually see how you invest and how they invest okay so now you have the ace of wands and that talks about a new beginning if you're willing to to make that happen there is a new beginning okay the justice the justice and the eight of cups okay but i feel like you're gonna walk away I feel like you're going to walk away because it's just too hard. Um, what I'm hearing is when times got hard, they ran, okay? And that's how you're going to see it. I mean, you know, that's up to you. But I feel like that's how you're going to see it. Yeah, you're going to feel like they emotionally manipulated you, okay, with promises of, of being steady for the future. But what you need to understand is, you didn't try to fight for this, right? So that's what it feels like to me. It feels like you didn't fight for it and they decided to take that love somewhere else because this is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is kind of iffy, okay? It's an iffy energy. So, um, yeah, somebody's going to take it somewhere else. It could be you or it could be them, but it's because you didn't fight for that Ten of Cups, okay? Your conclusion is the nine of swords so let me talk about this nine of swords okay um because right next to this nine of swords you have the nine of pentacles okay because it fell out for another i'm trying to find it it was right yeah the knight of pentacles okay the nine of pentacles and that talks about you getting what's deserved okay and it, it ends with the Nine of Swords. 
This talks about worry and anguish and depression, okay? And it's like, this is where you led yourself because you didn't make the decision. Or you didn't choose what you wanted. See, it's different when you choose to let something go because that's your choice. But because you kind of let it just marinate on its own and, and do what, you know, it was supposed to do, he did. Or they did what they wanted to do, okay? And they didn't want to sit in that energy. You have to be careful because this, this, that full moon energy from January the 31st is, is really getting people to wake up. So they're not going to be staying in that energy, okay? So you have uh, karma, which is the judgment, knight of swords, and reverse, and the lovers, okay? So to me, it talks about the wheels turning, but not in your favor. I mean, but things are changing, but just not in your favor, okay? Then you also have the knight of swords in reverse. And this talks about the whole situation changing, okay? It doesn't turn into your favor, and you had the knight of swords in reverse. And that's about scattered thoughts, because of your scattered thoughts, because of that scattered energy. And now you're feeling like you lost your soulmate or your person, you know, because you didn't make that decision. Now you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And that talks about uh, delays and something that could have been, um, you know, something that will last, okay? So I'm going to end with an Oracle card for you, Pisces Singles. Let's see what we have. You have Intent. It says, focus your energy. Amaz there is amazing power in a strong intuition. So I feel like your intuition is telling you to say something, to speak your mind, to be more creative. But your, not intuition, but your, um, I feel, not pentacle energy. Your lower vibration, like your earthly energy, there we go, is telling you that you need to only focus on work or only focus on your goals, you know? But then what about love or what about that other thing that's being brought into your life, right? Doubt and fear is going to stop that from happening because remember, you there is some chemistry there. There is a strong attraction. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We all have exes for a reason, okay? So now for the extended reading, let's see. I'm going to do your energy and things that Spirit wants to tell you about your energy for this month. Your partner's energy, which is what your partner wants to tell you this month. And advice for the relationship from Spirit, okay? So thank you so much for listening. I will see you next month. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.